Hi everyone, this is Jill, and I'm here tonight to share a couple things that I've made. One I made recently, and one I made a long time ago. So, um, this is what I'm going to share tonight. Um, the first thing is uh, some paper doll blocks that I created, um, inspired by Lori Harrison, who has a website called ChooChooPaperArts.com. And she always shares really neat printables and ideas for projects that you can make. So that's the first thing I'm going to share. And then I'm also going to share some cards featuring a stamp set by Verve um, that I purchased specifically uh, to make cards for people that are going through cancer or a chronic illness. Um, so those are the two things I'm going to share. Let's go ahead and, and swing down and get started. Adjust my camera. So... Um, Again, my friend Lori, Lori Harrison is her last name, has a website called choochoopaperart.com, or it might be choochoopaperarts.com. No, I think it's just art. Anyway, if you look up Choo Paper Art, you'll, it will come up if you do it on Google. Um, her website will come up. And she also has an Etsy store where she sells really cute um, uh, kitty flare buttons that are just adorable. So you might want to check out her Etsy shop too once you go to her website. But this is a project that she shared um, almost a year ago exactly, back in August of 2015. And um, I wanted to make it uh, to give to uh, my sister Natalie has a new granddaughter. And um, She's going to turn, she's two now, and she's going to be three, and uh, I just think she'll have a lot of fun with these. So what it is, is um, a set of three blocks, and Lori provides a printable that you print out, and then you cut it up, and you put uh, the paper dolls onto the blocks. And so here you can see, here's a, a dark-haired girl, and then here's a little... Um, I don't know, I turned it. Is it this one? There we go. Um, so there's the blonde. And then here's, I think she's got brown hair. Am I having these on the right shoes? There we go. And then back to the pink. And then if you turn it, I have to remember which way to turn it here. You turn each one of them, you end up, there we go, with her in her ponytail. And then the last one is him. So there's a little boy paper doll too. And I have to figure out where his feet are. There they are. So that's his feet. So really, really cute idea. And these are these little wood blocks I got. Um, she has all the information on her website about how to do this. I found the wood blocks at Michael's. And so I just bought a, um, three wood blocks, brought them home, printed out her printable and then just followed her instructions for creating the blocks and then once you have everything glued on you finish it by painting it with two coats of Mod Podge so I don't know if you can kind of see the the Mod Podge strokes on there but it's finished with Mod Podge and I'm going to just put these in a little bag and tie a tag onto it and give it to her as a birthday gift because I thought this would be fun for her to just have to you know to play with them and uh, play around with making you know, and you can actually kind of mix and match, but play around with making them, uh, you know, finding the different pieces that go together. So there we go. So anyway, so that's, it's really cute and fun. And, um, and it didn't take long to do it all. And it, when you check out Lori's website, she has so many fun little things. Um, she did a different paper doll project really recently on her, her blog. And, um, and she also did these really cutie, cute uh, kitty with tea uh, printables. So uh, you'll, you'll go on her blog, you guys, and you won't want to leave. <laughs> She's got so many cute, cute projects. So that was the first thing I wanted to share. And then um, I also created a couple cards that I would share. And I thought um, I would take a, a minute to show you what I used. Um, I use these little flowers, some of the yellow ones, and these are from Hobby Lobby. Um, 
and they're part of the Paper Studio line. They're called Poppies and Papery Embellishment Company, is what it says on here. And these, they, they sell them for 50% off quite a bit when they put their Paper Studio line on sale, and that's when I buy them. So they're normally $4. I usually pay $2 to get them home. So um, anyway, I use some of the yellow ones of these. I use this die set, and this die set is um, from Frantic Stampers. If you've ever been to their um, website, they do wonderful dies. And I ordered this set um, of dies. And so it has a, a little circle, a square, and then three sizes of rectangles. And a very similar die to this can also be found, the rectangles anyway, can be found at Gina Marie Designs. Um, so if you just want like the, just one of these, it's um, $10. And I believe she's coming out with another set that includes three of them. But you could go to the Gina Marie Designs website also, and she has something very similar. Um, she also has a bunch of new dies coming out, and she has wonderful previews on her site right now. So um, anyway, that's the dies that I used. And then um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Verve stamps, but Julie Tillman is the owner of Verve and creator and she made this wonderful stamp set and I do I know that it's called Just Breathe and it's a set of 18 stamps it's item number Verve Stamps 0237 on their website and they're at um, vervestamps.com okay and I own quite a few sets of Verve stamps and what I especially think Julie does really well is um, incorporating her faith into her stamps and so she has faith driven stamps and then a lot of things just um, just wonderful stamp sets I can't say enough and this one I especially like I have some friends going through cancer right now and as you know cancer has touched my sons and my life directly and whenever I hear of somebody that's fighting I I really like to try and send cards periodically um, you know because fighting a, a disease of any kind it can be hard on not only the person fighting it, but the family surrounding them also. And um, so I have a family member fighting cancer right now, and um, I wanted to create a couple cards. So let me show you what I did. Um, these are very just simple, but um, I made two of the exact same card. It says, you are a force to be reckoned with. And then it has um, boxing gloves, and I added, this is where I added the little flower to the boxing gloves. And then on the inside, it says, I'm in your corner. And I used a yellow mat just to kind of do something bright and pretty on the inside. So that's what it looks like. I'm in your corner. You are a force to be reckoned with, and I'm in your corner. So I, I just like to send little cards like this out um, as people are going through chemo and... Uh, Oftentimes, um, you know, their lives are disrupted and it's hard. And um, so these are what I did. And I'll be getting some of these into the mail this week. So um, those are the things I wanted to share with you. These little cards and the sweet little blocks that are going to go out to Elise, um, my sister's grandchild. And um, I hope you'll go visit Lori Harrison's site, Choo Choo Paper Arts. And I want to thank you for joining me tonight at Greenwood Girl Cards here on my channel. And um, I hope everybody's enjoying their summer. Good night.